What's up guys, Steve Craig Retro Games back with another video and tonight is a fantastic pickups video guys. I am so excited to show you. I have got some bangers and one holy grail that I have been wanting in my collection for years. So without wasting any more time, let's check out what I picked up. Alright guys, so before we get into the games, I'm going to show you some GameStop posters that I picked up from my local GameStop store as uh, every couple of weeks I will ask them if they're about to throw out any and they had a few uh, all right so the first one is for stranger of paradise final fantasy origin this is a two-parter I don't know if these stack this way or top and bottom not quite sure but uh, I, I normally stay away from the two parters they're a little bit harder to display but uh, either way I thought this one was pretty cool so I took that one off their hands and then uh, picked up a double-sided Marvel Midnight Suns this one is a little beat up as this one was actually hung up in the store, but pretty cool poster nonetheless. Then we have a single sided Sonic Frontiers. This one's pretty cool. This is still a game I need to pick up, but uh, I'll wait till it gets a little cheaper. I got two left. We've got a single sided God of War Ragnarok. This one's pretty cool as well. And then last, but certainly not least, and I think is probably the coolest of the bunch, and that is a single sided Callisto Protocol. I just love the simple, sleek design on that one. So I am building quite the collection of GameStop game posters. And I uh, think that's pretty cool to uh, eventually be able to set up a way to uh, display them and interchange them. So I'm not having to look at the same poster all the time. So uh, that is the posters and now we shall get into the games. All right guys, so first we'll start off with an Xbox 360 game I picked up. And that is Dark Void. Uh, obviously a Capcom game. This is a game I've seen many, many times, um, but uh, looked like something worthy of picking up. It's basically a third-person uh, third person shooter slash platformer type game where you also have a jetpack. If I remember right, this takes place in like the 30s or 40s. And um, just looked like a really cool, fun game. So uh, picked up a nice clean copy of Dark Void. That's not in view there. All right. Picked up a few, well, before I move on to that, um, <clears throat> that GameStop that I go to also gave me a free steel book, and that is for Sonic Frontiers. And this is for either the Xbox or PlayStation version. So I thought that was really cool. It's the only one they had sitting behind the counter. I asked them about it and they said, do you want it? I said, heck yeah. So gave me that for free. All right, now we'll get in to some Switch titles. Uh, saw this at, at GameStop and had to grab this and that is Stranded Deep. Uh, this is a game I don't think I'd seen before. If I have, it's been quite a while. But this is a survival game where you basically are in a plane crash at the beginning. You are stranded on a deserted island and you have to explore and craft to survive. Um, so you have to 
face snakes and sharks and uh, just different animals in the wild to survive. You have to build, you have to dive and explore shipwrecks to find different materials to craft things. Uh, really, really cool looking game. And um, yeah, I've, I've heard some really cool things about this game since I picked it up. So really happy I grabbed that. So if you guys are into survival type games, uh, check out Stranded Deep. Then we have Death's Door. This is a Devolver title. I'm a little perturbed about this one as I purchased this sealed brand new, um, but it was damaged in shipping there. And then also uh, a spot there that is lifted up. So it is, uh, the seal is damaged. So I'm probably just gonna open this game at this point and enjoy it. But this is a uh, special reserves game uh, number to 5,000. This is number 1680. And this just looks like a beautiful uh, dungeon crawler style game. Uh, I have not played this, obviously. I've just watched some footage of it, but it looked really, really interesting. And obviously the art uh, looked beautiful. So had to pick that up. Uh, was going to leave it sealed, but now that it is damaged, I'm probably just going to open that and enjoy it. But that is Death's Door. I'm a huge fan of Devolver. And then the last Switch title I picked up is Cuphead. Uh, finally got the physical copy out to everybody. And this, of course, has the delicious last course included, which is all of the DLC. And I'm going to leave this sealed as I do have the digital download of the game. But you guys are all familiar with the shoot 'em up platformer of Cuphead. Super difficult, super awesome, cartoony graphics, just a uh, great game. So, really happy they finally came out with a physical copy. Finally. All right, guys, now we get into the bangers. Um, the first three are Sega Genesis. And the first is Twin Cobra. Uh, fantastic shoot 'em up. You are a helicopter. And this is a Toa Plan game, which makes fantastic shooters like Hellfire and uh, Fire Shark, or at least Hellfire for sure. The only issue with this copy, if I can get the case open here, is the. Uh, Manual does have a bend in it all the way up. However, the cartridge is in great shape and um, still very, very happy. I can flatten this manual out and make it nice and pretty again, uh, but a fantastic shooter and you don't see a lot of them with helicopters. So really, really happy to have that game. All right, the next one is Wings of War. This is another absolutely fantastic shoot 'em up. One that I am very, very happy to finally have in the collection. This is a DreamWorks uh, game. This is the same people that did Fire Shark. Um, fantastic shmup here. Basically, you are a guy, uh, your name is War, and you have these wings, and you fly left to right, so it is a horizontal shooter and it is just all out craziness. Now, very much like Fire Shark, this has the plain Jane white cartridge because of the DreamWorks. But a very nice complete copy of Wings of War. And this game is just an absolute blast and a ton of fun. And one you don't see very often and you don't hear about very often. So. Definitely pick this game up if you are a fan of shmups on the Genesis. And then the last Genesis game is a banger you guys are all familiar with, and that is Truxton. Another wonderful shmup and a game I've been wanting for quite a while. So you guys are all familiar with Truxton. Just a, a wonderful shoot 'em up, awesome music. Awesome power-ups. That is your Mega Bomb, or your Death Bomb. And it is also 
a very nice complete copy little bit of dog ear damage on the corners there but you know it's to be expected but the cartridge is in really nice condition and i'm very very happy to have this in my genesis collection but my genesis shoot 'em up collection which has grown exponentially over the last couple months uh sorry about the glare on that one guys let me see if this makes a difference here it might be a little too dark all right so truxton is right there you guys just deal with it i got two more games left and they are both sega saturn the first one is one of the best beat-em-ups on the system if not the best beat-em-up and that is guardian heroes and as you guys can see this is an absolutely beautiful copy of this game this is a beat-em-up i've been wanting for quite a while uh this is basically uh six different choose or playable characters um and then the thing about this game is you can jump it from the forefront to the midground to the background and fight on all three different planes one at a time by jumping between them um and then also it has a six player free for all uh basically like um you know, Super Smash Brothers, where six people can all fight each other in one arena. And then this does have splitting paths as well. So as you're progressing through the stage, you can choose which path you want to branch off into. So it does have different endings um, as well. So super, super great beat em up. Uh, just a fantastic game altogether. And I'm just happy to have a beautiful copy of Guardian Heroes in a game, like I said, I've been wanting for a while, and my Saturn collection is just uh, is so much better than it was a year ago, even two years ago. So absolutely just over the moon about that. And then the last game, guys, is my Holy Grail of Grails. And we're sticking with the Sega Saturn. So if that doesn't give you guys a clue, then uh, I'll just have to show you guys that I picked up, Panzer Dragoon Saga, finally. Um, so this is not a perfect copy. Uh, my manual got a little bit of bending there, rollover, and some some bends there, and then the bottom here was dog-eared at some point in two different spots. There's a line there, and then a, a crease there, and a crease there. So the manual has a little bit of damage, but the discs are all great. The sleeves are all there, and I just couldn't be happier with this game, guys. Um, this is a game I've been wanting for years, and this is it. Like This is the game I've been wanting just about more than any other game. Uh, I finally have a complete trilogy of Panzer Dragoon on the Saturn, and then I also have Orta for the uh, Xbox as well. But this is the creme de la creme for me. I've been wanting this for so long. I just I can't even believe that I am holding this game in my hands, uh, and I've had this for a couple of days now. It still amazes me that um, yeah I I have all three Panzer Dragoon games now, and um, just uh, couldn't be happier with that. So thank you guys for watching. Those are my pickups for the last week, and uh, like I said. I, Especially these bottom five games here, all bangers, and I, I couldn't be happier, so. All right, guys, well, I hope you enjoyed the video as much as I did. If you did and you're new to the channel, think about hitting that subscribe button for me. And if you enjoy my content, you can also check more out on Instagram at Steve Craig Retro Games, same as it is down below. And of course, I do drop videos every Monday, every Friday, and every other Wednesday. Uh, however, this is the last scheduled video for the re uh, remainder of 2022. Uh, I might drop one more video next Friday night. I do have a few more things coming in. Uh, so maybe one more pickups video next Friday. But after that, uh, regular uh, scheduled programming will begin in 2023. Um, but uh, please let me know down below, guys. What did you think of my last pickups or my second to last pickups of the year? What did you think of my Holy Grail and some of these other bangers? I am so excited to finally have um, Panzer Dragoon Saga in my collection. You guys have no idea 
how happy that makes me. Um, I really do appreciate all the love and the comments, guys. Um, please, please have a very safe and happy Merry Christmas with your family, a Happy New Year. Uh, if you don't check out my video next week, uh, I really do appreciate all the love you guys have given me over the last year. Um, I, it really means the world to me, guys. So thank you very much. So until next Friday, again, have a very Merry Christmas, a safe holidays with yours and your families, and enjoy as many games as you can. So until next time, guys, thank you again. Take care. Merry Christmas and keep gaming.